Racer Radio on AM 1170. The answer is sponsored by Love Radio Network. This is Racer Radio on AM 1170. The answer. If it's a car, motorcycle, boat, or anything else with an engine in San Diego, it's on Racer Radio. Now, here's your host, Dave Stahl. All right, folks. Hey, welcome to Racer Radio. I'm Dave. And I'm Michelle. Hey. Folks, hey, welcome back. You are listening to Racer Radio, the only racing radio show in San Diego. I'm Dave. And I'm Michelle. All right. Who we got on the line there, kid? Well, we have a Barona racer, a junior racer who was the champ last year, um, Deegan Erie. Hey, Deegan. How you doing, buddy? Good. We're glad to have you back. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah. yeah we Deegan sh- came in the studio with his dad. Yeah, he sure did. He did a yeah. fabulous job. That's why we're happy that you reached out, because that's what good drivers are supposed to do. Reach out to those media people and say, hey, well, I want to talk to you. He put up a post about how he did last night, and I actually said, hey, we, we'd like to have you call. So, Tell us about last night, my man. Honestly, my dad made an amazing setup with, it, um, with our chassis builders. And uh, it, the car worked perfectly. Um, it retightened it up a little bit from the last race, and it worked perfectly through the corners and had good speed through the straightaways. So, uh. and since and we got a good start and took the lead on the first lap and set sailed. And so, did you stay in the lead the entire race last night? Yes. Oh well, no, there were no chasers. I mean, mm-hmm. no. <laughs> that's got to be pack. fun. Okay, but yeah. do, does your heart start pounding, you know, each lap, you know, hoping that no one's going to catch you? Yeah, it, it actually does because if one little mistake and oh. if somebody's behind you, they're going to they're gonna either bump, tap you and yep. move you out of the way or they're going to get under you. Uh-huh. God, that's yeah, the only thing I, I hate. Mean, w- uh, do you breathe? I, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he tries. Yeah. I don't know how you breathe. It's not easy. I'm telling you, you know, I, I know what, what you Just know. Just hold my breath and yeah. drive is what I would do. Oh. Yeah. So did we talk about what he's driving? Yeah. Well, let's, it, well, we didn't. So yeah, what are you driving? Go yeah. ahead, De- Deegan. I'm driving a junior sprint now in the junior series in, at Barona. Um, and we run a Briggs and Stratton uh, World Formula Motor that makes about Around 15 horsepower. Yeah. What kind of top speeds down the back stretch? Um, we've never really took in track. We haven't, like, you know. Or do you run? Do you run in the infield? What? Do you run in the infield? Yes. Oh, run okay. So the, track, yeah. yeah. So you're not you're not really yeah. even interested in big high speed runs. You're more interested yeah. in car control and. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got That's you. The most important part, if you have the control. You should in a fast car and a good setup. You're you're gonna be fast around the track and make good lap times. Right. By, by the way, you just got a compliment from one of our listeners. He says, "Wow, this kid seems to understand and know the race lingo already at nine. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, how long have you been racing? Um, this is my third year at Barona. Yeah. So you know, and did you do any racing before that? You know, um, K1 Speed I, or anything. Yeah, K1 Speed I raced before, and my dad thought, saw my talent, and he's like, oh, I think we should actually buy an actual race car, see how he does. Yeah, and son of a gun. And look, the rest is history. So you mentioned earlier, too, about a good start. What goes into making a good start? Um, you, when the Right when the green flag drops, you got to be almost all the way on the gas and yeah. just... Pull, try and pull away. It's kind of complicated to explain. Just well, and you got to know when to hit the gas. Yeah, you, know, you, you yeah, don't they want... have a cone. Yeah, they have this cone, and when you get there, you should just get all the way on the gas and hope that you get the lead. Yeah. Now, like in drag racing, you know, it's the same kind of thing, except you know, leaving the line when the light goes green, you take off, yeah. and hopefully you're faster than the guy next to you. Now they have a tree they practice with, you know, to get good at hitting the green light. Do you have anything like that that you practice, or is that just something that you do once you get to the racetrack? No, there's nothing we really practice with. Yeah. But if I have a bad start, 
my uh, dad will tell me what I did wrong and we'll fix it. And then the next race, I'll be even better. Yeah, and you better not do it twice, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to make the same mistake. So are you harder on yourself, do you think, than say your dad? Um, Probably a little bit. Because, I mean, when yeah. you miss a turn or you miss your mark, and if a lot of people don't know what marks are, every racetrack has marks that each individual driver sets up for themselves. Yeah. So when you miss those marks, and you know it. I mean, he knows it too, but you yeah. really know it. Does it really yeah. kind of get you a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You slide up the track a little bit. You're like, oh, dang it, hopefully nobody gets under me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so how are you doing in your division um, for this season? I'm actually doing really good. I have three wins on the season. Wow. My last one came last night, and that took the points lead for me. So Fantastic. Just by two points in the lead. Oh, wow. And how many more races have you got? Um, Four, I think. Ooh, so it's, it's, not, it's not in the bag yet. Yeah. Yeah, anybody, it's anybody's game. Yeah. No kidding. Well, you got to make sure you uh, email, have your dad email me your address, and we'll send you a couple of uh, racer uh, radio stickers, and we'll put them on the car, see, right. if, see if that brings you any luck. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, and then once the season's over, I'd love to get you in the car down to San Diego, get it into on KUSI TV. That way, next year when you start looking for advertisers, you'll have a video that you can show them that you're on local TV, and you know. And if they advertise with you and help get you on the track, we'll invite them to the KUSI TV and give them some love too. Right. Yeah, that'd be really great. We ch we'll definitely look forward to that. Yeah. Because you need sponsors if you don't have them already. Right. Uh, we have a couple of them, but n the more the better. And yeah. who, who are your who are your two main sponsors right now? My two main ones are probably Cheers Deli and SoCal Paintworks, but there I have three main ones, which and the other one is my dad's company, United Cleaning Co. Oh, okay. Any other little ones? Because little ones are good uh, too. Yes, Clots, Clots uh, Oil and OMF. Okay, Cl and Victory Graphics, Victory oh, Graphics. Well, oh, yes. those Victory we Graphic love, guys. They sponsor us too. <laughs> Yeah. What do you mean they sponsor us? We buy all our stuff from him. We sponsor him. He doesn't sponsor yeah, us. Yeah, he made the Racer Radio stickers and all that other stuff. Oh. Yeah. But he does really, really, really good work. So. Yeah. So are you back in school? Um, Actually, my first day of school is tomorrow. Dun, dun, so, dun. Uh, are you looking forward to it? Um, The learning part, maybe not so much, but to see all my friends again at and the teachers, that'll be fun. Well, at least you're honest. I appreciate honesty. That goes a long, long way in my book. Mm -hmm. But, you know, unfortunately, you do. And I, it sounds to me like you get pretty good grades anyway, right? Yeah, I do. I, I funny, get a lot of good grades. I had a funny feeling. And what grade are you in? Um, I'm going into fifth grade. Oh, All right. My gosh, fifth grade. Can you, can you remember when you were in fifth grade? Yes. Okay. I actually can. Yeah. Do, do, your, do your classmates know you drive? Yeah, all of them do. All right. Do you ever take the car they to school? They think it's really cool. Oh, They yeah. wish that they could do it. Sure. You're, uh -huh. a, you're a superstar. Well, but you're also a role model, too, because people look up to you. So, you know, you got to kind of keep that straight and narrow, get good grades, don't get in trouble, which I don't think you would anyway, because yeah. dad would take your car away. Yeah, probably. And wouldn't that be terrible? Yeah, I would never want <laughs> that to happen. I can hear it, the tone in your voice, man. I'm seriously. So you're nine years old. You talk like a pro. You talk like you've been doing this for 10, 15 years. Do you plan to try to make a career out of this? Yeah, I really do want to make a career. And uh, what format? You want to stay on the dirt? You want to go to asphalt? Or whoever hands um, you a steering wheel, you're going? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. But my... My goal, my, my real goal for when I'm older is probably to get up to NASCAR, uh -huh. but we're just taking some st little steps. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But see, you're, 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 and that's so important when you're trying to build a career, you know, because yeah. first you got to build your career, and that's you, Deegan. Mm -hmm. Once you build that, that's your, that's your forefront, and the forefront is being a personable kid, being able to walk, talk, and chew gum, you know, media savvy. And oh, we occasionally win some races too. So it's all yeah. and starting in dirt 
is, I mean, all you have to do is look at anybody that's made it in NASCAR. They've started in dirt. Jimmy Johnson's yeah. a, a perfect example. So, yeah. Who's your idol? Who, who, who's your fan on in the NASCAR side? Do you have one yet? Actually, it is Jimmy Johnson, the, yeah. my favorite driver. Well, mine was Earnhardt Sr. And, yeah. And, yeah. He's and, good. And I'm kind of, I can't decide between Kyle Larson and uh, Chase Elliott. So I'm, have, um, I'm having a little vacillation back and forth between yeah. the two. Um, I feel like Kyle Larson, he's had more experience. That's yeah. why he gets a little more wins. But Chase Elliott, the son of Bill Elliott, he's, yeah. he'll be great one day too. I think you're absolutely right. And I got a sneaky feeling, my friend, you will be there right up with the stars. And it's going to be so great that we can sit here – I had Racer Radio and say, we knew that kid when he was only nine years old, and we said he'd make it to the top. Yeah. Right. That's cool. No pressure. No yeah, pressure. No, no. no pressure. You oh, know what? Geez. Just have fun. That's the oh. biggest thing. Have fun. Learn your craft, no matter what oh. it is. I don't care if you're bowling, shooting pool, or archery. Learn your craft. You know, Excel in your craft, and you will have the time of your life. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, you're going to have to send me an email, or do you have his email? Uh, don't. Okay. You're going to have to send us an email so I can get you a copy of the show. Okay. Have you got a pencil? Uh, I got a pen here. Okay. That's the same. <laughs> well, he's getting ready for school. I thought I'd throw the pencil thing in, because Brittany would appreciate that. All right. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Stall. S-T-A-L-L-D at Cox. Dot net. Okay. All right, buddy. Send me an email. Say hi to the family, and we'll talk to you down the road. Uh, okay. Good luck with Thank school. You. Thanks All for right. calling Thanks. in, Deegan. Yeah, have fun at school. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. All right, folks. Bye. We're gonna have to hit the road. Gun Sports Radio right around the corner. Yeah. Eleven seventy. Yeah, and like us on Facebook. Yep. And uh, carcentric.net for more information. Absolutely. And we'll see you next week. Happy trails. All right. Happy, happy trails. AM 1170, The Answer. Who cares about the clouds if we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails. Radio on AM 1170. The answer is sponsored by Love Radio Network.